train for long, challenging cycling events when you're short of time? I mean, long rides are by definition time consuming. However, faster training can give you some of the benefits of a long ride, at least in terms of endurance, in much less time. Faster training means training when you're in a carbohydrate depleted state. This helps your body adapt to a fat burning metabolism, which can help you when you take part in long endurance events. In fact, fat burning is one of the components of endurance that a long ride can help you to train. But if you start out on your ride already low on carbohydrate, you'll actually get these fat metabolizing adaptations in much less time. In fact, just 60 to 90 minutes is enough, so it's perfect for fitting into your commute or in a pre-work training ride. But when I say low carbohydrate, I mean really low. It is actually easiest to do a session like this first thing in the morning, because unless you eat in your sleep, the night is a period of fasting. And you should have no carbohydrate beforehand. A small, high-protein breakfast is good. In fact, the amino acid availability may help your muscles to adapt to the training. So for example, boiled or scrambled eggs. But you should avoid fruit, milk, honey, as well as toast and breakfast cereals. If you want to be really sure that your carbohydrate stores are low, you can even try sticking to a low-carb dinner the night before as well. Now the training itself should be just a simple, steady endurance ride. In fact, it's one of the things that's kind of nice about this session is you don't have to ride hard. In fact, you shouldn't ride hard. In a fasted state, you should stay below 70% of your maximum heart rate. And that's about three to four on a scale of one to 10. Although, to be honest, when you get a bit hungry, it feels like a lot more effort than that. That means that even if your commuters slow down by traffic, you're still getting a training benefit from it. But please, avoid trying to do high-intensity training while fasted. Because without carbohydrate to fuel your muscles for intense training, you simply won't be able to do the quality to make the session worthwhile. Ideally, you would ride for 90 minutes like this, but even 60 minutes is enough to see improvements in your fat metabolism. You want to make sure that you start consuming carbohydrate after an hour and a half to two hours. And in fact, if you're still out riding as part of a longer training ride, this is a really good opportunity to try out your on-the-bike fuel for your race day. Fasted training is quite popular with some pros as a training tool, and it can confer benefits in terms of endurance adaptations. But there are a couple of things to be aware of. Firstly, training in a fasted state will actually reduce your capacity to burn carbohydrate, just as it increases your capacity to burn fat. That means that it could impact your performances at higher intensities. Fasted training is also very fatiguing, even if it does not involve a high intensity of work. So do plan in some recovery afterwards and don't try to do it in the run up to a race or event. Thirdly, being glycogen depleted weakens your immune system and thus could make it more likely that you get sick. It's important to stress that fasted training is not actually a great tool for fat loss if that's your aim. You lose weight by being in calorie deficit. And although fasted training encourages your body to burn fat, it doesn't burn as many calories as a high-intensity training session of the same duration. For example, high-intensity intervals have been shown to burn a lot of calories and fat and to keep your metabolism higher for the whole of the rest of the day. That said, it is of course important to refuel after this session. Just try not to overeat because of the fasted ride. Now I hope this video helps you if you're trying to plan time-efficient endurance training for a big goal. Feel free to give us a like if so, and you might like to check out these previous videos in the commuter's training session series for the Maratona. We've got high-intensity interval training down there, or we've got an FTP session down there. <laughs>